While shooting in Tennessee, an event took place that changed the course of many people's lives on the East Coast, as well as the production of Gold Fever. The event's name was Sandy. My dad's trying to tell me, like, picture Vegas as empty as, you know, this place. Can you picture that? Because there was nobody on the boardwalk. All the buildings were boarded up. It was all dead. Well, sometimes there's events that just stop you right in your tracks. And this is one of them. You won't see this very often. They just got through with the storm of a lifetime here in Atlantic City. So we just kind of dropped what we were doing on this show and busted out here to do some metal detecting on the beach. And the reason why we come out and metal detect after these big storms is because it's flopping that sand around. And when that sand moves around, you can have treasure that's brought to the surface. You can have treasure that's brought in from the ocean. And when I'm talking treasure, I'm talking gold blooms. I'm talking gold bars. I'm talking all kinds of old artifacts, old coins, all kinds of stuff. I started hearing rumors that they were finding gold blooms down in Florida on the beaches because the big waves were turning up the sand. And we were a little farther than Florida, but we were pretty close to Atlantic City. And so I started thinking, you know, we could get to Atlantic City by tomorrow. So this is an opportunity to get in here and do some swinging and possibly find some of that good treasure. And it's kind of devastating. Actually, it is devastating for the people, you know, that were caught up in it and were involved in it. And, uh, and you know, we pray for them. And uh, it's a good thing to donate to the Red Cross and, and help out in any way you can. But uh, this beach out here, it's flopping that treasure. So we're going to go down there and take a look and see if we can't find, find some. Yeah. The sun's finally peeking through. We didn't want to go up there like right after the storm, you know, even though that probably would have been a better time to medley tech. You know, you got one side, you know, a little angel over here saying, you know, you help out, you know, give to the Red Cross, do what you can for everybody. And, you know, you want to do that. But then you got this other gold fever guy over here, this little devil over here saying, uh, hey, what about all that gold or all about those gold coins or gold bars, all that treasure coming up on the beach, you know? You can see right here, that right there is supposed to be five feet down. So this is five feet of sand that just came right in here. Wow. It's all gonna have to be pulled back out. See how the beach is elevated up? It's taken and pushed all this sand up here and elevated up. This used to be like five, six feet lower right all through here. Crazy. You see, we ain't the only ones out here. Other, other people out here working it too. Instead of the wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, I'm listening for the wee -ook, wee -ook. It says, we dig, dig. You can hear when it makes a distinct sound like a, a woo, woo. It's kind of a lower, smoother tone, but when it makes a sharper peak, like a wee -ook, and it peaks out, that's when you got a target that's worth digging. A lot of people know about this action. You know why? Because there's been a lot of good stuff found. Yeah. You know, that's the thing about metal detecting out there is you can swing your metal detector, but if things are 20, 30 feet under the ground, you can't get to them. But with that storm action churning up that sand and churning up that beach it brings stuff up closer to the surface flops it over and now when you go out there and swing your metal detector you can find stuff that people haven't been able to find for years and years it's a coin penny <laughs> looks like a penny hey a penny 1971 <laughs> Sometimes where you find one, you usually find more. You don't just usually find one. Right there, move a little bit. Here, you swing, I'll dig. Okay.
You got it? You're better at seeing stuff than me. Oh, it's a penny. Oh, see, you're always better at seeing stuff. Let's see what year this one is. Well, this is just a bunch of pennies around here. There's probably more of them. You think about all those ships that came up, you know, into Philadelphia, uh, up through Delaware, up across the coast into New York, and all the different stories about the different shipwrecks. And there's some that are documented, there's some that aren't. And when those beaches turn up, you could find some really cool relics. And there's been a lot of people that have found some really cool wrecks. Probably some of them are gonna be like, hey, Tom, don't talk about that. You'll create competition for us. What's there? Yeah, see so you can dig deep. You're getting closer to it. I mean, you're getting really close. I think it's the, is this not rust? Yeah, but it's probably something big down there that's like creating that rust. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Hit that. You know what this is? What is it? This has been in the ocean a long, long time. And this is like all rusted on there. And a lot of times you can have coins that are encrusted in here, because this is what they look like when they've been in the ocean for 100, 200, 250 years. And it just gets crusted like this. They get to be like just a, cro a, a, a corroded piece. And what you gotta do is you gotta like x-ray it and you gotta like wash it and really inspect it. This could be a really good find. I'm All serious. Right. This could be a really, 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 really good find right here. <laughs> cool. This is sweet stuff right here. This is this is treasure. We came across one piece that is just, you know, a fabulous find. I haven't decided I don't I haven't decided whether I'm gonna break it apart to look at some of this stuff, but there's coins in it and there's old shell casings in it, and it's a chunk of metal that's been really old and it rusts up and the pieces kind of glob onto it. And that's the kind of pieces of a treasure in the way that the coins and things come out. They kind of you really don't see them because all that rust and the iron it all kind of conglomerates together. And that was a lucky find. Yeah! 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 The American spirit is an awesome thing. In the face of tragedy, we put aside our differences, come together as brothers and sisters, and as the world around us continues to change for better or worse, so do we as humans. We can take comfort in the fact that although our planet can be harsh and Mother Nature unforgiving, she continues to reveal her secrets if we just know where to look.